Enoch and the Watchers and the Nephilim? How do how do they fall under your uh, under your work? Uh, well, I've done a lot of research on on the Enochian tradition, uh, and it started for a rather silly reason. Uh, in 2003, uh, I wasn't very interested in magic and mysticism as much as I was with metaphysics and uh, theoretical cosmologies. So I wrote a book called The Metaphysician's Desk Reference, which I had self-published and which is available on Amazon in a really rudimentary edition. Lots of spelling errors and grammar errors, and it's very poorly edited. I didn't pay to have it edited, so I edited it myself. Uh, it's a really poor edition. A uh, better edition is available as a PDF online uh, without any of the, or without most of the spelling errors. Anyway, after I put that book out, I realized uh, that there was somebody named John D. And that John D., uh, not unlike me, uh, and before I was born, long before I was around, had studied many of these same topics. Uh, and my name being John Gee, and his name being John D. And a lot of our works overlapping, I realized at some point, I was going to have to find out who he was and study his works and be able to provide an answer when asked, what about John D., since your name is John Gee? So that's when I started researching the Enochian material, and I tore through uh, what I could find pretty quickly. Uh, there's the Enochian magic of John Dee and Edward Kelly, of course, from the 15 and early 1600s. And then uh, there's the basis for that, uh, essentially, which is the legend of the biblical patriarch Enoch, who lived before the world flood. Uh, just one moment. No problem. Okay, so Enoch is mentioned in, uh, I believe, Genesis uh, 2, no, 1, yeah, 1, 4, uh, or something like that. Early in the uh, story, yeah. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe 2, 4. But yes, very early in the Bible he's mentioned, but only very briefly. And it says that uh, Enoch uh, walked with God, and God took Enoch, and he was not. Uh, and it also says that uh, he lived during the time when the sons of God came down and bore wives to the uh, sons of man. Uh, and these were like uh, giants or the titans of old, mythic heroes, or uh, ostensibly the elder deities of the Greek uh, Olympian pantheon. Uh, so that's about all that was known of Enoch for presumably the last aeon until around the 1800s when uh, uh, I believe it was James Bruce. I don't yep, remember. Same guy who gave us the Bruce Codex with the Pista Sophia, I believe, yeah. Uh, he was looking for uh, the source of the Nile River in Ethiopia and found on, uh, uh, on, and on, on an island in the middle of a lake that was close to the source for the Nile River, a group of Hebrew uh, Ethiopians who were preserving uh, the traditions, not only of the Keber Nagast and how they had stolen the uh, uh, Ten Commandments on the two stones of uh, the tablets of testimony from the temple of solomon uh, but also the apocryphal book of enoch one of the great mysteries of john d's era is how did john d know uh anything if he did even about the legend of the enochian angels uh from the enochian apocrypha and it's possible because a slavonic translation of the Book of the Watchers, which is uh, uh, an abridged version or shortened version of the Book of Enoch in Ethiopia, uh, the Slavic or Slavonic version may have been known to John D. in the 1500s, but there's no direct evidence to state uh, with certainty that he did know of it. 
So that may be one of the greater Enochian anomalies, as I call them. Uh, nevertheless, uh, in Ethiopian Enoch and in the uh, Slavonic Book of the Watchers or uh, Enoch 2 or Enoch Book 2 or the Secrets of Enoch, uh, there was uh, a legend uh, that was also preserved in the Essene Qumran uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, but in the Essene Qumran Dead Sea Scrolls, there was also another chapter or book in addition to the Book of Enoch that was called the Book of the Giants. And the Book of the Giants, uh, the Ethiopian and Slavonic Enoch, uh, all describe the same events from the same time period that happened prior to the Deluge or what the Greeks called during uh, the time period of Atlantis. <clears throat> 